Hello and welcome back to HWL Radio Sports. I'm here with the co-host. Tony Ocean, Don't Stop Corporation, guys. It's Monday, April 23rd, 2018. The Big Bonner fight Saturday. I couldn't believe it was a draw. I couldn't believe man, about it. Man, I don't think that was no draw. I actually think Vargas, Vargas won too many rounds. And if Adrian Broner would have dropped him, maybe it would have been a draw. But he never dropped He hurt him. But hurting is a big... It's a lot different than um, scoring than a uh, drop. Right. They gave it 115 and 113, Bonner. 114 and 114, 114 and 114, and then Vargas got the last one. 115 and 113, which made a draw. So they both get Vargas 28 and 2 with the draw, and Bonner's 33 and 3 with the one draw. Yeah, but what I'm uh, saying, it, what I'm saying is, is that anybody watching it knows that. Or well, anybody that actually really knows boxing knows that if he was in there with a, a hard hitter, as many times as he got hit in them early rounds, Adrian Broner might have had a short night that night. So there was a little right, rust. Right. There was a little rust on him. Yeah, but they also said that Bonner uses his super uh, cat quick speed hand, laser accurate, and to hit him uh, with a left jab. They said Vargas was more. Um, I guess Bonner hit him on more than one occasion. And that's where they said they get an upper hand to Bonner on that. But they said um, Vargas tried to come back, and then when his left eye was hit, you know, that was a, chairman, a glimpse on him. Yeah, he was also so they gave tired. An upper hand to Bonner. Yeah, he was also yeah. he also got t- gassed out later. So I think if he would have kept his gas up, I actually think he could have won this decision, but you could see that he ain't got no knockout power because he was hitting the shit out of him. But Broner was shaking his head like, nah, nah. But the other times we seen him do that in fights, shit, it was over. Like, the fight was about to be over with. Like, he did it with Sean Porter. Tried to, uh-huh. Like, he they tried did, to shake his head, they nah. Say, right. They did say Broner's a clown. It, it was talking about he was a real clown on, on, that, on that stage of boxing. And, <laughs> say that and you know what? That and fight. you know what? I think that draw actually saved his life. That draw actually saved his life. Why? Why Be- you say that? Because, man, before on the little fight card, you know how he does his little antics, but you know they always say there's a little bit of truth in, in the joke. So even though it is, right. like, even though it was premeditated, you saying some actual real shit that's going on behind the scenes, and he looking at him like, man, hey, you burning down a bridge that motherfucker you need to get across. And you, uh, right. I don't know if you've seen about the press conference where he cussed out Leonard Ellaby, but he was calling them all kind of bitch-ass niggas and all kinds of shit to where he already said, like, uh, like Floyd, hey, this is your guy, you fuck with him, but my hands is washed. Like, I, I'm, I'm, right. Not, right. I'm not taking no disrespect as a man, and I felt him on that because as a man, like... I don't blame him. You didn't cross the line. You told me a bitch ass nigga. You doing all this stuff, but then when the Charlo Nothing brothers, when the Nothing Charlo brothers said, come after you, he don't do none of that. Mm-hmm. But my whole thing. Yeah, but who who else was you talking about before I get it? Saying about how about how you said disrespect. That's what they were saying. That's the point I get him too. He's been very disrespectful. No, so, the the next fighter. Oh, Davis. The. Uh, Javante uh, Davis beat uh, Jesus Sailor in the third round. Davis defeated him by TKO in the third round, and they say he's um, he's a lightweight, you know, division champion. That, but Sailor, Sailor just couldn't get it going. You know, he Man. just uh, Davis put him on. Davis gave him some vicious body shots, and uh, he just some body shots was too much for him. You know. Man, he reminded me of a he remind me of a smaller Errol Spence. Yeah, but then his, his game plan was to give him the body shot. He figured if he gave him the body shots, he could take it to him. And that's what his, it worked out to his advantage. And, and, I, I mean, apparently it did, knocked him out in the third round. So, and I was set on that. And that's why it was pretty hyped up, too. He's uh, going to talk about it actually Friday. Yeah. He didn't have to get him out, too. Yeah, now he gonna, he's one of the next, he's going to be the next big thing in boxing. Him, Earl Spence, Terrence yeah. Crawford. All them people, man, names like that. Lomachenko, I believe uh, <laughs> Davis will knock his ass out. I actually believe it now yeah, after they, that fight. Yeah, but they said, and they were saying too about this guy, David. I mean, they've been, 
he appeared to be stronger than what he, you know, they thought he was. So that was one thing about him too. But he's yeah. gonna be an upcoming future. Album. But fuck yeah. all that, man. Who they sleeping on, and who I think stole the show, and actually put. Broner in his place at the same time for disrespecting the promoter, which is also going to elevate his career because anybody, you you know, a person going to appreciate that. Like, man, this really ain't my lane or nothing. And then you sitting here disrespecting right. me and stuff. And then you like, hey, look here, man. If you want smoke like that? Hey, I got all the smoke right here. You want to disrespect right. him? Come disrespect for me. Disrespect me. That's what people fail to realize. Okay. Charlo wasn't starting no beef. He was taken up for the promoter. Like, man, Ellaby ain't even on that. He on money. And you sitting here coming to him on street shit. But, street stuff. Yeah. but I can't take away from what that nigga did in the fight. That mother, them Charlo brothers, man, is a problem. You know Mayweather Promotions had them before. And the only oh, thing really? I could Not think, enough. the only thing I could think of how they lost them is because they, because of egos. I think egos and jealousy played a big part in that because the motherfuckers right there is a force to be reckoned with. Two brothers yeah, I can, dominating boxing. I, I can, right, I can believe ego and jealousy played a part in it. That's how, that's how I talk about that every day. So if it comes to that in that field, I can believe it. Mm -hmm. That would surprise me. So, yeah, but I, I want to see him fight more in the future that day because they did talk about him a lot Saturday. Man, I want to see Charlo fight more. I want to see Charlo and Davis. But well, like I'm saying, Charlo, Charlo done stole some of Broner's fans that fight. He done stole right. some of them because he's what he's what Broner was. The only thing is, Charlo stayed focused. Broner let the lights get to him. Yeah, he got, but, yeah, he, he got all the publicity line and throws him off his arm. But the good thing he got going, I seen the old Adrian Broner close to the end of the fight. So I don't know if he done shook back on that or not, but... He need to stay he's focused. Flashy, though. He got a mouth on him. He's flashy. That boy he got a mouth on him. Like he, you see the shorts he had on? Yeah, <laughs> man. He's flashy. <laughs> he's flashy sometimes. <laughs> man. That's something, man. Yeah. I said, boy, look at him, boy. He, he's something else with that mouth, though. Yeah, he's something else, but sometimes sometimes that mouth can ruin you. Sometimes yeah. that mouth, the Bible said, that's the the worst thing to have is a bad tongue. The worst oh, thing. Oh, my goodness. Listen. Listen to Steve, if you ever get a chance, it's called TV, it's TV, with TV Jakes, it's called Shut Your Mouth. You hear him, I don't know, that's what he said. Yeah, but I don't I don't listen to TD Jakes, I listen to God. You know, I don't subscribe into Christianity. I just subscribe, I just subscribe into God's commandments. And I think that's what the world should do. Because religion is just separating everybody. But that's going to be the show for the yeah. day, so go ahead and shoot your shot. We ain't going to get too deep into that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Be good to yourself and well to others. Thank you. All right. And there you have it. Another great show at HWL Radio Sports. Go over to hwlradio.com. Download the music app. Also, make sure you check out the sponsors page. We got Ticket City right below the video. Get all your playoff tickets to all your events, your concerts, whatever. And like I always say, hit my motherfucking music. And I'm out. And if you don't hear the music, it's because you didn't go over to hwlradio.com and download the music app.